guys, this is Cole from Regal Metalworks. Hey, I just wanted to give an update here. I finished these cellar grate uh, covers, um, and I wanted to document it uh, before the customer picks up, because it always seems like the customer comes and I forget to get pictures and everything else, but here we go. So here they are, all done. He wanted them in white. Um, they're all three identical to the measurements that he wanted, and they turned out pretty nice. Um, they weren't too hard to make. Uh, I'm just uh, coming up with the idea of how to make them. And um, just because box two was uh, not going to not going to yield the results I wanted, but happy with that. And um, let me see what else I got. Uh, the post office messed up two orders. They tried to deliver them last Saturday at like 7:30 in the morning, and then they never tried to re-deliver. And it was material for, for my uh, 2x72 belt sander and like an air hose I needed because I had one fail. But uh, I got that. I went and picked that up at the post office today because I remembered. Um, but here it is. Here's the big chunk of aluminum. Now I can make, uh, I think, four pieces out of this because it's only 3x3. Three three, and these are 2.5. And, and this is actually what's going to uh, be the pivot point here. So that your tracking pulley can pivot this way. So I have to machine the piece that fits in here and it kind of comes up and over. That's why it's, it's wider than this inch and a half. But it comes up and over and then there'll be another little arm that's the pivot out and I gotta machine all that. Here's a neat little piece that I had uh, welded for a customer. And they brought it, they got it anodized and brought it back and now they need me to spot weld over this screw for legal reasons. It needs to be permanently affixed. Um, it's neat. I used some 5,000 uh, wire uh, when I TIG this. This is all aluminum. And uh, if you use like your standard 4043 filler wire, it will um, look different than the 6061 piece that you're welding to. So um, this was all a machine part and just needed welded together. Pretty cool. Now we have some footage I want to throw in there of the rook learning how the MIG and TIG weld. I said I'd do it for him, so here it is. Alex, enjoy. This makes perfect. Yes, it does. Now he's learning his Don't MIG work. welding skills. Perfect. Yeah. Just keep us here. It's a little hot. Yeah, maybe that's not the best. I was also practicing on this welding just one out of my prop. Yeah, Trying yeah. that out versus what I normally do. It looks good though. It's a 3 8 inch AR400. Alright, pop I was, back. I was trying his hand at some. 16 gauge. Oh, square tubing. Square tubing. I believe I burnt through mainly. I need to turn my wire speed up though. You good? Yeah. Yeah, running hotter hills. Yep, definitely does. Versus that. Yeah, looks, looks a little good. hotter and a little faster. Yeah. Maybe feel that in. I think you can run a penetrate a little more. Yeah, you can run a little bit more heat. You don't have a lot of uh gap there to really fill, so yeah. it's, it's going to beat up a little bit. I got you. So on this one, I need to... Let's turn her up a little bit. I got you. Meld it right in. Get a penetrate. Oh god, a whole voltage. Let me uh, give it a little bit more wire speed. Yeah. Let's see what happens. Well, let's find out. a little longer too. Yeah, 
can still crown a little bit, but imagine if I, do about yeah, if I slowed it down, try to get between burning through and letting it penetrate deeper, maybe. Huh. <laughs> Edit that out. <laughs> nope. <laughs> you didn't see that one. We're just talking about penetration too. Yeah, to get the corner. Now we're talking. Might need to turn the wire speed down. Well, yeah. Yeah, that was pretty clean one. Yeah, I like that one. Have another trap off. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. That looks good too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, something else a little good too. Yeah, I stayed a little longer, but not too long to let it build up. Well down. Mm -hmm. There it is. Yeah. You got um there you can weld and one on the bottom too. Oh yeah, I forgot that size. Yeah, I left these corners. That was from the two first more row. two more inches of weld. Yeah. <laughs> two inches to perfection. Yeah. That's not bad. You try and do it that way. Yeah, did a penetrate in. I can kind of yeah, bounce from edge. Yeah, forth, yep. Yeah. What is it, clamshell, seashell? Whatever shell. Yeah, making a sea pretty much. Tortoise shell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I busted through a little bit on the end. Yeah. 
It's all right though. Kind of went good. back and sealed as I busted through right yeah, there. Yeah, you got it. You got it good and penetrated in there. That thing ain't coming apart. No, not like my first hack. <laughs> <laughs> There it is. Yeah, you made a crooked eye beam and a little tiny stand valve. Yeah. <laughs> we'll throw a ram mount on it. It'll be fine. Two magnets on the bottom, new table mount. Yep. I was just playing around with this one though. Yeah, it looks good. You got good penetration in there. Good clean well. It's not bad for what? My I mean, fourth Without even cleaning the metal, I mean, it yeah. looks good. And what is this, my fourth or fifth time so far? Perhaps. Yeah. You got skills. I'm getting it. You got skills to pay the bills. Yeah. <laughs> or developing skills to pay the bills. True. <laughs> Here we go. So, what you have to do, you don't ever pull your torch away like that if you got a foot pedal. You can so use all the pedal. off foot pedal and then right. pull it away. Then pull it away. Yeah, you weren't getting any, you're getting very little pull. So you gotta be, I don't know how far, how far do you have the pedal, the pedal push down? A little bit more than halfway, so go okay. ahead and max it out. Go ahead and max it out until you get your pedal and start to ease off it when you see the pedal getting bigger. <clears throat> and then you can start moving forward. Okay. You always want to keep the torch there to ease off power. Okay. The only time you would pull off quick like that is if you were <clears throat> welding without a pedal. It was a scratch start. You just pull off, have to pull off, not off, mark off. Okay. That would be on it. See, you see, you got to get a little puddle going on there. Okay. So you can see, you know, yeah, you got to, you got to pull into it. Mm -hmm. You know, you got to put, get it closer. When you start getting too far away, you don't get as much heat in. Yeah. You don't get as much, you know, current running down. I got you. What is that? That's the power of feeders. So now you want to start trying to add feeders? You can if you want. Right. So what you got to do is you got to get that pedal form first. Because if you don't have a pedal form, that will melt, but it won't adhere to there. It'll just ball up and blow back. So the pedal, go ahead and get it going to where it's movable and then just start tapping it in. And then you just start feeding it in and move the torch out of the way a little bit at first so that you don't accidentally hit it. Yeah, you don't want to. So you don't want to pull. Ease it into the yeah, ease it in and pull it back a little bit. You don't want to take it completely out. Gotcha. Yeah. Good. 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 Move the torch closer. See how the, the it's beating up on the top. Yeah. Another thing is you, you got a little bit too much angle on your torch. Yeah, yeah I was feeling more going back a little yeah. bit. So if you kind of get a little bit more upright, it'll go directly into where you about need to go. Like that. Yeah, kind of widen it too. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you'll want to widen it if you go up too high, but you won't get a good melt. Okay. So you want to stay as close as you can. The only time you're going to be further away was like with aluminum sometimes. But with steel and stainless steel, you want to get that thing in there as close, close as you possible. Yeah, and stay on top of it. And stay on top of it. Yeah. Okay. And don't go too slow. If you go too, don't go too fast. If you go too fast, you'll start, you'll start beating up on top. Okay. If you go too slow, you'll get start getting too much heat into it, and you'll see it discoloring. Yeah. So this is a little too fast because it started going up. Didn't have time right. to kind of wash down. Right. Exactly. Okay. And you can see how you're putting heat into it. See how this plate is warping. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, it wants, so we want it to look kind of more like that. Right. Okay. Oh! Ah. You gotta 
gotta get used to that. You gotta let off that pedal first. Yeah. My finger was getting burnt, so I kind of snatched it off. Oh, yeah. Alright, let's do it again the right way. Do that on um on just flat metal. So, but it's easier when you have your you have a piece you're welding together. Like a 45 or something, you can just fill in. Yeah. When you start getting to an edge like that, the heat's going to build up there, and then you're going to have problems. You have to let off the pedal even more. So, like, if you're welding on the edge of something, you have to use less input than if you are welding in the middle of it. You know, it's the same thickness. Well, I'm going to go ahead and try to roll one right there. Or try it out here. Yeah, that's fine.
Good to go. Strawberry lime, you know I wanna share it with you. This is going. 